Welcome back to another video. Great to have you all again. In this video, I'm going to be going over easy keyword research. I'm going to keep it really simple, mainly aimed at beginners. And this video was inspired by a comment from a previous video. So if you have any suggestions and you can put them in the comment section below. Otherwise, let's get into it. So this video is just going to be a bit more in general as to what I do with keyword research. I do plan to do videos later on on specifically titles, subtitles and the seven backend keyword slots. So just to define keywords, they are search terms that people will type into the Amazon search bar and you can have different types of keywords but for this video I'm just focusing on short tail and long tail keywords. So short tail keywords are basically one or two words such as log books. These are more competitive as they are quite broad and long tail keywords are a phrase such as log books for truck drivers and these are less competitive as they are more specific and niched down. So then how do we find the right keywords? So first of all, the right keywords will allow your target audience to find your books. It will increase your discoverability so your books are more likely to be found on the first to third pages and this would result in more opportunity for sales as your books are going to be seen a lot more which give you a more probable chance of getting a sale. However, the wrong keywords will prevent your target audience from finding your books, decreasing your discoverability as your books might end up on the 9th, 10th, 11th page, uh, which is going to limit your opportunity for sales because nobody's going to end up looking at those pages. And potentially, you know, if you are misleading customers with your keywords or using trademark keywords, author names or brand names, you can potentially have your account uh, suspended or terminated as this does go against Amazon's policies. So these are the metrics I look for to almost validate a keyword when I've typed it into the Amazon search bar and it's given me a, a list of books. So first on the list, I've got low competition. This is generally just under 1000 results as this does give you the best chance to rank on a, a higher page when there is less competition for a keyword as you know your book's not going to be bogged down on pages you know 9 10 11 and never found but you've got more opportunity to get sales so this next point it really just does depend on your strategy so a lot of people say that you should go for something that is high demand and low competition and yes you should definitely do this this is the right way to go as your books will sell faster and in more volume as there is a lot more demand for those books if you're maybe looking for a niche that's 100 to maybe 300,000. But you got to understand low demand does not mean no demand. Because even if we take a look at the BSR uh, sales calculator, we can see that even a BSR of 900,000, this gives us five sales per month. Now, most people would ignore something that's low competition and low demand. But even if you had one book giving you a $2 royalty times that by five, then you've got $10 there. Now, let's scale it up. So if you have 10 books with a BSR of 900,000 and they are making five sales a month with a $2 royalty then you're making $100 each month. So I think people get maybe too lost in trying to find the perfect keywords and maybe watching niche videos when these smaller maybe less attractive keywords they are there but you just need to take the time to not overlook them and get creating books but with this strategy because the BSRs are much lower you will need a higher volume of books but as I showed in the example 
what 10 books can do with this type of BSR. Another metric I do like to look at is making sure that the book has been published in the last few months. Because if I see a book that has been recently put on Amazon and it's already getting sales or has already got a sale, this immediately tells me that there is demand for this type of book and I should create something quite quickly. And the final thing that you want to think about is, is this a keyword that you want to invest your time in? So for me, working full time, I do have a lot of other priorities and it's not every single keyword that I can jump at because I am limited with my time. So if all the other metrics have been hit, then I'm looking at, do I have a good understanding of the buyer of this book? You know, do I understand what they're really looking for in this book? Can I create something that is better than the current books that are out there rather than not putting effort and just maybe creating the exact same thing and just copying what's already done? And am I willing to spend time to find other relevant keywords or are you just going to stuff a bunch of keywords together and hope for the best? So really think about the, the time cost with each keyword, you can look to outsource some areas if you are really struggling, but don't just expect to put in half the effort and then get double the results. That's never going to happen. And if you are jumping on every single keyword, all that's going to happen is you're just going to end up burning yourself out. Okay, so I have been talking for quite a while, but I hope that you are still staying with the video. So just before I get into some methods for finding keywords, you are going to need some important free downloads. So the first is DS Amazon Quick View that just brings up the BSR and makes it easy to view. And the others are by Self Publishing Titan. So the first is you'll need the KDP Research Chrome extension. And this will give you an easy summary of all the data on the first page. And then the second is KDP Keyword Expander Extension. So this is just going to give you a lot more long tail keywords, which is really going to be useful. And you can check out the links in the description for both of these. So this first method for gathering keywords just involves using the Amazon search bar. And it's probably one that most people are aware of, but it does work really well. So I'd recommend typing into the search bar a short tail keyword rather than a long tail keyword, just because the keyword expander extension will give you a lot more to work with if you use a short tail keyword. So to start off with, we're going to put in just the word logbook. And right away, it has given us a lot of long tail keywords. And this information is basically just telling us what people are searching for. Then it's really down to you. You can go through each keyword individually or a particular set of keywords might pique your interest. You can also even use letters of the alphabet just to find more keywords. So you can type in the letter A, for example, and see what comes up. Then you can type in B, C, and so on. So if you find something that does interest you or looks interesting, just make sure that you click on those particular set of keywords, and then you see how many results you get. Is it under 1000? What type of BSR does it have? You know, don't discount those that have um, a higher BSR, such as maybe 500, 600,000, 700,000, as they are still making sales during the month. Then also check how recently some of the books under the keyword have been published. Then consider how much time you're willing to put in and if you have a good understanding of the keyword and the kind of books that you would have to create. So you can create your own keyword list just to gather some interesting keywords. Definitely uh, does help, but just find your own metrics. What works for you and don't overcomplicate it. So this method actually saw on Ben Chinook's channel. 
and it allows you to see the most recent books that are doing well. So again, it involves using, to start off with the search bar, then I would recommend you just typing in a short tell keyword at first, just to start off with. We'll go again with logbooks. Then you need to make sure that you go and click on the books section and then give it a moment to load. Then we're going to go to the left hand side grid and you should see a section called new releases. And under that, we're going to have a look at the last 30 days. So this is going to give us all the logbooks that have been published in the past 30 days. And what we can do is scroll through some of these books. We've got the uh, DS Amazon Quick View, so we can see that their BSR and it gives us a really good idea of what is selling really well quite recently. So if we just take a look at some of these BSRs, then if you find an interesting book with a good BSR, what you can do is type in some of the main keywords into the search bar. For example, we've got running logbook with 2022 calendar. Then similar to the previous method, it's about validating those keywords and making sure that they meet your metrics. Then again, similar to the previous method, you can begin to just build up a keyword list. So once again, guys, thanks for watching another video. This one is just really kind of a beginner's tutorial and I will go into titles and subtitles in one of my next few videos on keyword. If you have any suggestions, just make sure you put them down in the comment and don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Thank you.